Hi, Dr. Brad with Weedman Lawn Care. Today, we have the opportunity to talk about a fairly uncommon lawn pest. Today, we're going to be looking at jumping worms. Jumping worms have been in the United States since the 19th century. However, because the damage is fairly uncommon, there are no good chemical treatments to help remove these worms or kill these worms on the property. Jumping worm damage can often be misdiagnosed for other issues on the lawn. The grass itself will turn brown, making you think it's drought damage. The grass itself will peel back like carpet, making you think it's grub damage. However, when you peel back that turf, you'll likely see jumping worms present, but you'll also notice that the soil is very granulated as the jumping worms themselves are ruining the structure of that soil. Unfortunately, this granulated soil caused by the jumping worm is a really poor habitat for plant roots, whether that's turf grass or ornamental plantings. The jumping worm can be distinguished from a common earthworm by a few unique characteristics. The first is when the worm itself becomes agitated, it has many snake-like movements, the way it jumps and the way it moves about the soil. The other one is an opaque white ring around its body. Jumping worm eggs hatch in April and May, turning into adults through midsummer, where we see most of the damage feeding on the organic material right below the surface. Those adults then die in the first freeze. However, they've left eggs behind that can then hatch again in the spring. Some literature recommends the use of ground mustard seed and a water mixture to help remove these worms from the soil. In this case, the idea is that that mustard powder is going to irritate the skin of these worms, bringing them to the surface where you can manually remove that worm from the property. While effective, if these areas have coalesced into a larger widespread region of the property, the use of this technique is likely not feasible. Unfortunately, over a short period of time, jumping worms can become common across the entire property. And as I mentioned before, there are no treatments or controls for the jumping worms themselves. So prevention is really the key. Avoiding imported mulch or soil onto the property where you think jumping worms might be an issue is most important. If you do find jumping worms on your property, continuing to maintain your lawn with the best management practices is critically important. Appropriate fertilization, appropriate watering and mowing gives your grass the best chance to fight off that damage. In some scenarios, the jumping worms themselves will cause permanent damage to the plants, in which case overseeding the lawn will be necessary. Got jumping worms in your lawn? Reach for Coleman's. <laughs>